If you recall, in 2019, 2020, for the first convention, again, an overwhelming majority of the standard bearers, you know this for a fact, there were members of cabinet that said they would resign if the former leader of the party were to become leader. All of them supported uh, uh, Mr. Saldiva to be leader. The former leader of the party lost handedly. Whatever happened to Mr. Saldiva happened and there were members of cabinet that said if anyone I want to put in on a name, we are resigned from cabinet. The point is, regardless of what happened to Mr. Saldiva, nobody wanted Mr. Farber to lead the party. You wanted him, Shine. You were out there campaigning for him. I gave him a chance. I gave him a chance because their campaign is so aggressive. But we saw in the general elections that that is not so. We only won five seats. We saw again in the municipal elections where we only won a, a mayor and a councillor, right? And, and again, the writing was on the wall. We saw again after being given the opportunity by people like me, against my good wisdom, gave him the opportunity and he failed on many fronts, not just private matters, but in internal uh, management of the party, there was a massive failure. But you could argue, as you have said, Mr. Vasquez, that we knew this all along. But shame on those people that tolerated this and no want to use one of our party organs to all of a sudden have a voice um, to endorse uh, another candidate. And that's the problem with the rebuilding. We have people in the party who are only concerned with their self-interest, only concerned with their preservation of power, and we have to come after that.